Hey guys, Boba Bricks here with another video, and this time I'm here to give you guys a tutorial of how to make a Loki from Avengers Infinity War. Now, LEGO has not made a figure for Loki for Avengers and Thing War, although they have made a Loki uh, for Thor Ragnarok, which is a very nice figure, although the colors are off. If it were not for the colors, the design and everything of how the outfit looks is really accurate to how Loki looks in Avengers and Thing War, but the colors are off, so that kind of messes it up a little bit. But, so, I have taken it upon myself to make a Loki from Avengers and Thing War, so without further ado, let's get right into this. Now what I've actually done for these legs and arms is I've actually taken them from the Lloyd Garmadon, from the Lego Ninjaga movie sets, and given them to uh, Loki. Now I've taken the leg part off of these legs right here and just given him plain black ones, but I took those off and, give, and put them on just a normal black piece in the middle. I'm not quite sure what that part right there is called. But I just hooked them onto there and put them on and it just adds some really nice detail and they're actually really accurate. So if you look at how Loki looks in Avengers and Fae War, he does actually have those green straps that go across his knees a little bit. And I really do like how those look. I think that they add some really nice design and I'm really happy with how they've turned out. Now for the uh, torso what I actually did was I took the torso from this villain from the Harry Potter sets. I'm sorry I'm not very familiar with Harry Potter so I'm unsure what his name is but make sure to tell me in the comment section below if you guys know. So I've taken that body and given it to Loki and it just adds some nice design and it's fairly accurate to how he looks in Avengers of Fame where it's not right on but it's pretty accurate to how that looks. And it just adds some nice green lines that go across kind of like its outfit in Avengers Infinity War. And then these hands right here, just your normal tan hands that you can get in May sets. They're really, really common. And now for this cape, what I actually did was I'm unsure where this material of this colored cape came from. But you can get that same colored cape with Hela from the Thor Ragnarok sets. It's the cloth cape that comes in that one. But I like these hard capes a little bit more. I'm unsure where this kind of cape came from, but I really do like it, so I went ahead and gave it to Loki. And uh, you can get this same one, though, like I said, with Hela. Now, what I actually did for the face was I took the face from the Loki from the Thor Ragnarok sets and gave it to him. As you can see, I've given the Loki from the Thor Ragnarok sets to the same face that he had in the first Avengers and switched out his head and given it to... Uh, my Infinity War Loki. I really do like how this face looks. It has that nice kind of trickster smirk a little bit on the front and on the back it has that terrified look a little bit more which you could use when he encounters Thanos towards the beginning of the movie. And now for this hair, what I actually did was I took the hair from Tasu Leech from the Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens sets. I really do like how this hair looks. It just adds some it, more detail to the plain uh, long male hair that they had given him in the uh, Thor Ragnarok sets. So I really do like how it looks. I like how it comes down to the side and then slants forward a little bit uh, go about to go over the shoulders because that if you look at Loki's on the hair this hair piece is actually I believe to be way more accurate and I really do like how it looks on. And now for this little knife accessory you can get this many places such as many figures like Drax the Destroyer and many others like that. So there you have it, my Loki in my Loki main figure from the event for Avengers Infinity War. I really do like how it looks. I think that it looks a lot more accurate than it would if you were to use the Loki from the Thor Ragnarok sets. And I am really happy with how it's turned out. I think it has some really nice detail and just looks like a really solid figure. Make sure to tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and feel free to recommend any minifigures that you think I should make in the future. This is Boba Bricks, signing out.